Magic the Gathering has become riskier than ever. Let's talk about some ways that you can eliminate risk if you want to open boxes. Well, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to Kitchen Table TCG. My name is Louie. I hope you're having yourself a fantastic day. Uh, we are getting geared up for the Outlaws at Thunder Junction release and all the things and spoiler seasons going on. We've got Modern Horizons 3 on the horizon. No, no pun, no pun intended. Um, and we've got a lot of stuff going on. I wanted to have a conversation though today about the increased risk in opening Magic the Gathering product. Now, I wanna first come out and say, couple things. Number one, some people just like to open packs and you don't care about the expected value. You don't care if you walk away with $10 of your box or $150 in your box. It doesn't matter to you. You just want to rip packs. This video is probably not, not for you. Okay. This video is really for people who are looking at this in a little bit more of an intention, intangible, intentional way uh, to open up boxes and, and get the best EV to experience this or to run a business and that kind of thing. Whether you're an LGS that's cracking packs in volume, uh, or you're just somebody who wants the best bang for your buck as you rip open packs, this is my ideas and my thoughts for you. Um, first off, I got new shirts. Check these out, Kitchen Table TCG. They're pocket tees. Uh, they're really cool. They're comfort colors. And we have five designs, uh, really cool five designs uh, that each come with a token. So those are live on the web website at gamegrove.gg. We did one for each color. So there's like angel for white. Uh, we did um, dr uh, dragon this year for red. Uh, we did uh, elf warrior for green, uh, zombie for black, uh, and wizard for blue. Uh, so check those out on the site and pick up a t-shirt if you want to support the channel. I don't make that much from the from the shirts. They're, they're whatever. Uh, they come with a token. They're kind of a cool thing if you want to uh, to have a kitchen table TCG with a new pocket, a new, uh, a new logo. So, all right, let's get into it. First and foremost, um, it has gotten increasingly risky uh, to buy sealed Magic the Gathering product. What has happened is the prices has increased and in doing so, they've had to get more and more um, flashy on what they put in. So right now, pretty much with a collector booster box, you're really hoping to pull a serialized card. And you know, it's really interesting. It used to be back in the day, back in my day, it used to be back in the day, um, you would open up like a case of booster boxes. They were just draft boxes back then. And your big hit would be about one in six boxes would have a foil mythic. And that would like pay for at least one of the, it, it, like that was like a huge hit back in the day. Foil mythics, I don't know if you guys remember this, but foil mythics were the cheese back then. It was the hit, it was the massive thing. Well, now you don't have that. Now it's like one in six boxes of collector booster boxes. You get yourself a serialized card somewhere around, you know, it's similar pull rates of that. Um, and that has essentially serialized cards have replaced what used to be a hit in the foil mythic slot. But the, 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 the benefit from that hasn't gone up or down, just the cost has gotten up. So instead of spending $100 a box that you used to be spending, now you're spending $200 a box or $225 a box to, to have that same odds. So the increased risk of new product has uh, has just absolutely gone haywire. On top of that, the amount of people buying and selling magic cards is absolutely wild compared to 10 years ago. It wasn't, you know, 10 years ago, the internet wasn't as big as it is now. You didn't have the competition that you have now. Now, it was all so much more focused on the local store and the game store. Now you've got Amazon, you've got TCG Player coming out with Outlaws at Thunder Junction, uh, $200 boxes two, a week and a half before release, 10 days before pre-release. You've got TCG Player selling and pumping somebody's store for $200 boxes. If you want to buy those boxes, that'd be great. Just use my TCG Player affiliate link in the description of my videos. Uh, and then I would make more money off of your purchase and I don't have to do anything. As an LGS, I would make more money off of your purchase than I would selling you the box on TCG Player for that price. Isn't that wild? Isn't that just insane to anybody? I know, it's absolutely insane. So you have all this competition in the air for buying and selling, but not just at the LGS level for sealed product, also at your level, at the consumer level or the prosumer level of people opening packs and selling singles. There's more people doing that now than ever before, which causes this kind of 
fight to the bottom. And this is why if you're going to buy Magic the Gathering cards, you should buy singles. This is the win. This is where everybody agrees. Nobody's arguing that you should buy singles. But the problem is some of us like opening packs. So what do you do? Um, and this is going to be my suggestion or my, um, my, my intrigue to you. This whole industry is caught up in the this, here, and now, the hype cycles. Right now, everyone, look at Thunder Junction. They're just, there's a new card. It's a, it's a Lotus Ring. It's a Lotus Ring, everybody. Freak out. It's going to be the next big thing. Everybody wants you to focus on now because they want to sell you something. Magic the Gathering wants to sell you the new set. Your local game store, spoiler alert, if you go to Game Grove, I want you to pre-order the new set because, like, I've got to buy it and I want you to buy it too. I, we all want this. We all want you to focus on the new thing. But the reality is the new thing is not the best thing for you. The new thing and very rarely Fallout was like a rare win in which if you pre-ordered Fallout, you're way up. It was like a rare, I think, blue moon event, like blue, like it, now, it just doesn't happen. If you want to win, you have to look at what other people aren't looking at. While everybody's over here staring at Thunder Junction or staring at Modern Horizons 3 or staring at whatever the hype cycle is, you've got to go and find the other things that people have given up on. Uh, there are some big wins out there. I, I don't want to get into all of them because, uh, you know, there's just all the Commander Masters right now. We'll just generally say Commander Masters. There is some huge EV right now in Commander Masters. It's wild. Um, if you look at some of the products in Commander Masters, if you look at some of the products uh, from you know Dominaria United, some of the things in the past that didn't do well, nobody is focusing on and they've slowly trickled up to this place of which you can open boxes at current market price enjoy the experience of opening things and actually on the back end of this heavy huge win so if you're drafting this is why at my store uh we draft old sets all the time because i like to try to find things that people like we did modern horizons 2 this past week modern horizons 2 there's some good value in that set still and the prices have come down on everything so it's, it's not that as a competitive thing to to get into it's easier access for a lot of people and so you can find these directions and these directives of which you can actually experience and have fun either playing draft or opening packs or uh, you know doing a mass box opening. You know, those people I know, shout out to some of the people on my, my Discord server who are gold wizards uh, and they pay the, the $20 a month and they get access to me at product at cost and they order cases of stuff and they open cards and they put it on TCG Player and they're doing great. They're doing great buying the old stuff that nobody's attention is on. Nobody's focusing on this thing or that thing because everybody's so worried about Thunder Junction or so worried about this thing or that thing. So anyway, that's the thought process. If you can find EV that works from past set, Baldur's Gate, there are some great sets in the past that have very positive EV right now. As long as you're not focused so gung-ho on what is next, what is next, what is next. But the entire ecosystem, the entire economy of this game, of Magic the Gathering, of trading card games as a whole, is wired us to focus on the now, the what is next from distribution level. If you're a store, they are trying to get you to buy Thunder Junction. And now you're thinking to yourself, man, Modern Horizons 3 is going to be really good. I want to make sure I've got my spend and my, my ducks in a row so that I don't get hosed on Modern Horizons 3. And then Modern Horizons 3 is going to be good and it's going to be just as good as Fallout and they're going to cut you to six boxes and you're not even going to get the win anymore because you were so focused on this win and they just robbed it from you. And that's kind of the thing that happened has been happening historically. So you gotta focus on the old stuff that's easier to acquire, easier to get, and nobody else is looking at. Those are my thoughts. I know it was a little bit convoluted. Honestly, uh, we had a huge storm today. I have a tree out down uh, inside of my house right now on our power lines. So just trying to get a video out for y'all. 
um, because we are definitely going to lose power today. But I hope you guys have yourself a fantastic day. Remember to be kind to the people around you. If you know of something uh, that is positive EV, leave it in the comment section. If you've been cracking something and having a good time doing so, leave it in the comment section. i uh, love to chat about it. Have yourself a great day. Be kind to the people around you. Go grab a shirt if you want a Kitchen Table TCG shirt. They are Comfort Colors brand. They're very, very soft. Uh, they got the Kitchen Table TCG new logo on the front and then the back says be kind and then it comes with a token. Everyone uh, will come with a token. The shirts will be sent to you separately and then we'll ship out a token to you. Have yourself a great day. Be kind to the people around you. We'll see you again next video.